Hey everybody, D Amazing here bringing you a review of Hotake Kakashi from SH Free Arts, given to me by Bandai and Image Anime a little early, so that way to make sure I can bring a review to you guys. So just let it be clear, this is from both Bandai and Image Anime. They gave it to me early, so that way I can, you know, review it. So here we go. <clears throat> First off, I want to note that Kakashi is actually much taller than previous SH Free Arts, at least from the Naruto line. I'm going to stand him next to Sasuke. See that he kind of towers over him, the way it should be. And then I'm going to stand next to Naruto. Again, he towers over both of them. Just so you can clearly see he has much height over them. Next up, I'm going to get into the actual figure. And honestly, it's a huge improvement considering the last few lines. Although they were good, they weren't as good as they could possibly be. First thing I want to note is that they definitely gave Kakashi a new lower body torso part. This is brand new. Of haven't seen it on many molds. I think the next one is probably going to be on maybe trunks using both a hybrid of this and the Kuga technology from the renewals. Next up, I want to note that they definitely added bicep swivel, which is very important because it was missing on both Naruto and Sasuke. So Kakashi has it and it greatly improves all forms of his articulation in many different ways. So you don't have hindrance of ab crunch, things like that. It's because he has ab crunch. Also, he has serious articulation in legs. He comes out. He could bust it wide open. Things like that. So straight up, it's already a huge improvement in terms of articulation. Things that would have been honestly like hindering. Not a problem here. Also, I want to note that Sa oh, Sasuke. Kakashi's on a double neck joint. So I'm going to pull it off real fast. The head. I'm going to pull it in. So you see that he's on a double head joint. So it rotates both two ways. On a double ball joint sorry and the reason why I noted that is because when you swap in his alternative heads you need to keep in mind that the double joint will move and sometimes aggravate you so what I do is I fold it down turn it in and then I pop the head on and even I still have trouble with it but I pop the head on and voila it's swapped and changed also, I want to note that Kakashi is really cool because instead of just constantly swapping heads, you can just swap heads and leave the bow, but more important, you can take his hair off. When you take the hair off, you swap it on the different heads, it's never really an issue. And voila, we have Kakashi using Sharigan with one eye. Kakashi also comes with another head where he has both eyes open, which is much later down the line in the series. You'll see that Kakashi does a ton of this stuff. That's eyes open. This is him with eyes closed. So you get a good look. And then there is the normal head, which I've misplaced. Oh, there we go. This one has the, the headband down over his Sherrigan eye. Little cross of hair. And for obvious reasons, when he pulls up the Sherrigan, it's that. Kakashi also comes with his well-known lightning cutter. This is the part for it. It only comes with the right hand. I was about to say left. But it only comes with the right hand. And honestly, his ball joints are very easy to pop in and out. Very simple. So you can see him. Voila. Just like that, I swapped it on. It's very easy. They've done a very good job of just swapping out joints and making it very easy to just actually just put the figure together. Also, I want to note that you can easily pop off his torso, but that's not a bad thing. It's just basically letting you know that you won't break your figure. They make it very simple so that way you can rotate joints very easily. As you can see, I've done here. So there's chest rotation and swivel here. You get it two different points in joints. Again, this adding of the, the arm swivel is probably the best thing they've done because honestly, it was just such a hindrance on Naruto and Sasuke that they had none of that. It's very hard to get scenes and articulation the way you want it. They're supposed to be ninja, and in the anime, they recreate these crazy ninja scenes. It's very difficult to do. That would not be an issue with Kakashi. Uh, he comes with tons of hands. There's ninjutsu hands. There's lightning cutter hands that goes with it, especially because what you do with this hand is you place this one on for his, uh, I want to say iconic scene where he constantly removes his headband from his eye. So you could do that. So that's what this is supposed to be for. I'm making it look weird now, but 
you can just easily do that. Great stuff. Kakashi comes with two, four, six, ten sets of hand. So you'll really enjoy that, trust me. Easily one of the best figures there are. Um, if you've been waiting on the original line to like liven up, this is definitely the thing for you. I want to give him a 10 out of 10. There's not too many hindrances. Even the, the pouch on the back is removable. There is a, I won't say ball joint, but it can rotate slightly here and it can be removed. They fix the articulation. They've basically all the mistakes that they made in the previous with Naruto and Sasuke, they fixed with Kakashi. If the line comes back alive and they do 2.0s, I guarantee you they'll be just as good as Kakashi is. I'm really excited, happy for the figure, and I hope you guys are too. I'll have pictures coming your way soon. Thanks again. Like, comment, subscribe. And again, this is an early release that I've got from Bandai and Image Anime. So I want to thank those guys so much. Thank you. Uh, and check it out. Thanks again, guys. Later.